this is Jim Phillips with Remember Veteran Grave Markers. It's now getting close to May, and with that, that time, we are looking at better weather and an opportunity to go out and clean more graves. Winter is taking, a, taking some time, and the weather being cool is not a good time to go out and clean graves, but we're getting to a point where we can. And I have some exciting things that uh, that we've done over the past uh, couple weeks and into the future. First, I want to say uh, thanks to a, a benefactor of ours, the Sovereign Military Order of the Temple of Jerusalem, and their organization out of uh, out of Detroit, or out of Michigan, uh, which is the Priory of St. Clair. Now, the Sovereign Order, uh, Military Order, the Temple of Jerusalem, is uh, a an organization also referred to as Knights Templar. And I'm proud to be affiliated with them, but also uh, equally proud that they consider our nonprofit as one they would donate to. So we're looking forward to sharing further information about them as they do good work you know, for not only uh, Ohio and Michigan, but also around the country and internationally. So shout out to my friends in the uh, Sovereign Military Order, the Temporal of Jerusalem. Good job. You can find them at smotj.org if you're interested in what they do and if you're interested in joining. They're a great organization that does great service. Another um, one, actually it was an initiative that they did, but I participate in. It was a, uh, we were cleaning graves, particularly uh, Columbaria over at the National Cemetery over in Holly, Michigan. So there we worked with the uh, this group to clean uh, veteran uh, Columbaria. Columbarium, as you may not, you may know, or you might not, is is a uh, a place to put ashes, places to put urns. So, you know, it's really a, a, a fun time to be with uh, with fellow uh, people of like mindedness of serving veterans. And when when we were out there, there were a, a whole host of volunteers from. Um, military organizations, uh, veteran organizations, to the scouts, uh, everybody. So if you have a chance to be able to work at a federal cemetery where they have this kind of program, take advantage of that. Now on uh, upcoming, at the end of April, on WSPD uh, 1370, I'm going to be featured there in the eight o'clock hour where I'll be talking to Fred Lefebvre about what Remember Veteran Grave Markers does, and what we do for uh, Lucas County, which is pretty much all of Toledo. And I think it's you know kind of nice to be able to get some uh, visibility there and help out you know others and give them some direction as to what they can do to honor their veterans who have fallen, whether they're you know, family members, friends, or just providing good community service. This is something we can do to honor those who have given much. So that's something we're, we're looking, uh, we're going to be doing on uh, Monday on the 29th of April. Uh, let's see, uh, as we get closer, you know, into the summer, we have Memorial Day where we'll be helping out. And that's something that to remember veteran grave markers really cut its teeth on is uh, on Veterans Day, excuse me, Memorial Day, when we went out there to put flags on headstones, near headstones and grave markers, one of the things we found here in uh, Lucas County was there were a great number of veteran headstones and grave markers that looked horrible. They were unclean. The uh, grass was growing over them. So it was really kind of disrespectful of 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 those people and, and who we are as citizens of Lucas County. So I want to elevate you know, awareness of where we need to go and how we all can help. Remember Veteran Grave Markers is not a volunteer organization. We volunteer to clean 
and take on the uh, the the challenge of cleaning in Lucas County. Well, we're not a volunteer organization, much like the Scouts or a veterans organization. What we do is we provide education and awareness to those. So if you want to know about cleaning, or if you want to know about the history of headstones, we're a great organization to uh, take a look at. But we don't really have a following in so far as, hey, why don't you join us? That's not what we do. We we consider our work kind of like Johnny yeah. Appleseed. And that Johnny Appleseed is that we spread the idea around with the hopes of it taking root and that others will go ahead and, and harvest uh, the success. We'd like you to be that uh, those seeds that we plant. So that's what we're here for. So there's plenty of things that we've got going on. We're anxious to be able to take on the future. And with that being said, I got I got stuff to do. Please keep us in mind in your prayers and then keep these these men and women that you see behind me in your prayers. In Lucas County, we have a lot more veterans in Lucas County in all public and uh, municipal and private cemeteries than there are located at national cemeteries anywhere. So we've got a vast majority of them and they all need your help. So do what you can, whether it's one or 101, do what you can. With that being said, this is Jim Phillips with Remember Veteran Grave Markers. You take care and thank you to our newest benefactor, uh, the Sovereign Military Order of the Temple of Jerusalem. Thank you for your donation uh, and you know, always glad to have the Templars help out. Take care. God bless. Please like, subscribe, and share. And you can find us on Facebook.